For today's second dose of Getting Crafty, we're experimenting with alcohol markers, a DIY photo frame, and some fun with emojis. Amy Latta is back with us once again this morning with more Getting Crafty. Amy, great to see you, and uh, I'm excited for this because we've got a variety of different things. So let's start with the photo frame there. What are we doing, and what do we need for it? Sure. So this is a really simple project. And, you know, as the kids are enjoying their last few days of vacation, if they haven't gone back yet or just celebrating the end of summer, this is a nice way that you can display one of your favorite vacation pictures. So we went to the beach and I decided to do an ocean inspired frame, but you can use any color combination that you want. And basically, the technique that we're going to do gives us this sort of tie dyed effect around the edges of the frame, which is really fun. So all you need is just a white frame. I got mine just from Walmart, or you can grab any kind of white plastic frame from anywhere. And you're going to need your alcohol-based markers. And it's very, very important that they're the alcohol-based kind, or this technique will not work at all. <laughs> so I'm using Tombow ABT Pros today. And all you do is you take, like I use different shades of blue and teal for my frame. Again, you can choose any colors that you like. Just make sure that they blend well together and won't make brown when you mix them. So then you're going to color just different sections of the frame. You'll just scribble shades of blue all around. Then you're going to take a small paintbrush, dip it in some rubbing alcohol, and apply it on here. You're just going to kind of mush the brush around, very technical term there, and you're going to watch as it kind of reactivates the ink and it turns it into this really cool blend. So you're going to see, you know, all the different shades of blue and teal or whatever colors you're using mixing together to make just this really neat finish all around your photo frame. That's awesome. Did I see too on Instagram you were missing one of those markers? Did you find that? Well, it's not that I lost it. I don't have it. I went you need it. <laughs> so you Tombo need it. came out with this brand new organizer for yeah. the markers, and it's perfect because you're supposed to store them horizontally. And there's 108 colors, and I thought surely I had them all, and I'm missing one. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that though. Very organized. All right, let's talk about this emoji canvas project. Tell us about this one. Yes, so this is a ton of fun for your teens or honestly, Brett, I had a really fun time making this too because <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of emoji happy when I text and so I thought it was a lot of fun to create. Um, but basically all you're going to do is I took the lid of a mason jar and a pencil and I traced six circles for each of the different faces. And then I just picked six of the ones that I use most often. You could also use some of the other picture ones too. If you don't want to do all faces, just choose whatever you like. Um, and then I just sort of penciled in looking at my phone what the emojis looked like. Now, if you're not an artist and you feel like, oh my gosh, mine would look ridiculous, you can always just print out a copy of them and you can trace it onto the canvas. So plenty of ways to do it. And then I just took the alcohol markers and I colored in those six circles to be yellow. And then I added the details with the other colored markers to bring the faces to life. And this is something that, you know, a, a teenager or kiddo could hang in their room. Um, if you do a small one, like they sell those really small canvases, you could do just one little face, put it in a locker, um, but it just kind of makes anybody smile. They really look like it, and uh, my son would love it. He's into the emojis, and I won't say which one his favorite one is, but uh, I oh, will say that. Is uh, it brown? Yeah, I, I, I believe it is, yeah, but uh, I love that, and it's so creative. Amy, thanks so much. Remind us again of, of your website. Sure. It's amylattacreations.com. And I do have, if you're looking to doodle things like this, I've got Doodle Everything is my newest book coming out in October, and you can pre order that everywhere. Awesome. Thanks so much. Uh, we look forward Thank to seeing you. you next time. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be back after this.